Unless you've been living under a rock these past few days, you have no doubt already heard that Ford finally released the 2021 Bronco. But they didn't just announce one vehicle, they didn't even announce two vehicles. Nope, they announced three different variants of the Bronco. The classic two-door, the never-before-seen four-door, and a smaller Bronco Sport. And they look amazing. Like the Toyota FJ and the Jeep Wrangler kind of had a fling and then nine months later pops out fraternal triplets. Yes, it's retro. Yes, it's boxy. But damn, look at it. I'd say it's well worth the wait. That's just me. Hey, before we get down and dirty with the Bronco, please do us a huge favor and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell, please. It's just one click from you, but it means a ton to us here at Sons of Speed. Think of the Bronco Sport as the baby Bronco because it's smaller and it comes with an itty bitty cute little 1.5 liter EcoBoost three cylinder engine making 181 Broncos and 190 pound feet of torque. Now there is an optional two liter EcoBoost four cylinder that pumps out uh, 245 Broncos and 275 torques. Both of those engines use an eight-speed automatic transmission with the four cylinders coming with a manual shifting mode and paddle shifters. While the Sport is small at 172.7 inches long, it's an inch smaller than the two-door Bronco and the wheelbase is actually almost five inches longer than the two doors at 105 inches. The big brother four-door comes in at around 190 inches long with a much longer wheelbase of 116 inches. Now compared to the nearest competition, the Jeep Wrangler, the four-door Bronco is about two inches longer with a wheelbase a little over two inches shorter. Under the hood, the Bronco ditches the sport's smaller motors for a standard 2.3 liter turbocharged four-cylinder with dual overhead cams and direct injection making a stout 270 Broncos with 310 pound-feet of torque. Compared to the Jeep's base 3.6 liter V6, that is 15 less horsepower, but the Ford motor puts down a whopping 50 more torques. The 2.3 liter also matches the Jeep's optional 2 liter turbo four-cylinder for horsepower and again beats it in torque 310 to 295. Optional on the Bronco is Ford's awesome 2.7 liter twin turbo, which is a V6 pumping out 310 big Broncos and a huge 400 pound feet of torque. Only Jeep's three liter turbo diesel puts down more torques in the segment. Now for the best part, both Bronco engines can be had with a seven speed manual transmission. And in honor of that fact, I wore my seven speed manual shirt. I cannot wait to get my hands on a 2.7 liter turbo with a manual. Wait, what? You can't get the manual and the 2.7 liter turbo? Why the f not? What kind of fresh b is this? What is wrong with these manufacturers only putting the manual transmissions on the lowest engine choices? Hello, GT500. If you manufacturers want to know why manual take rates are so low, it's because of crap like this. You make people choose between the best engine and a manual transmission like we're second class citizens or something if we want to drive a manual. Sorry folks, but as a manual enthusiast, stuff like that just pisses me off. At least the 2.3 liter base engine is a pretty decent engine. And about that seven speed manual, it's really a six speed with a crawler gear for off-roading. Oh, did I forget to mention that Ford basically designed the Bronco as an off-road king of the road. Or is that king of the mountain? Doesn't matter. Anyway, you get 35 inch beadlock ready tires from the factory with best-in-class ground clearance, suspension travel, and water fording capabilities. 
Even the breakover and departure angles are best in class. This Bronco ain't no slow speed freeway chase grocery getter. This thing sports some serious sh First, you have the go over any terrain suspension settings, also known as GOAT. I see what you did there. You can set the terrain management up to seven different modes. There's normal, eco, sport, slippery, mud, sand, Baja, and rock crawl to get you over and through anything Mother Earth can throw at you. There's electronic locking Dana differentials and on-the-fly disconnectable sway bars just like on the Jeep Rubicons. But Ford throws even more into the Bronco with its Haas, that's High Performance Off-Road Stability Suspension System. Is it just me or is the Ford acronym department just absolutely knocking it out of the park here? Uh, the Haas system includes twin alloy A-arms and coilovers, and you can even get Bilstein position sensitive dampers on a Bronco. And there's so much more to love about these vehicles. I mean, look at this. Open door panels, removable roof panels, skid plates, an available 12 inch screen with off-road mapping, and even a freaking GoPro mounting bar? I mean, are you kidding me? <laughs> Some versions even have rubber floors with drain plugs so you can wash out your day's adventure in the Bronco with ease. There are so many more features that if I listed them all, this video would never ever end. But you can check out our website for a story covering all of those features and more at realsonsofspeed.com. Prices for the Bronco Sports start at $26,660, while the two-door Bronco starts at $28,500, and the four-door jumps to $33,200. The already sold-out first edition Bronco, the four-door, tips the price scales at a whopping $63,500. And none of those prices include the very hefty destination charge of $1,495. As of this recording, you could still reserve your 2021 Ford Bronco for a refundable $100 deposit at Ford.com. So check that out. Well, that's it for today. If you liked this video, do us a big favor and hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, like the video, throw us a comment, and share it with your friends. And we'll see you next time here at Sons of Speed.